Okay, so we're going to have a think about the theories of Van Zunen um, in relation to life on Mars. So Van Zunen was obviously a, um, a feminist theorist and I talk a little bit more generally about Van Zunen in one of my other videos. Um, the particular element that I wanted to look at in terms of applying Van Zunen to life on Mars um, is the way that um, representations of women are constructed through discourse okay so what we mean by that is um, it's particularly useful to look at Gene Hunt um, and the way that he describes women um, in Life on Mars so Gene Hunt's descriptions of women are frequently based on them being an object um, an object for derision women are quite often seen as being inferior to men so if we think about the way that um, the initial witness and then and then later on the victim um, Dora is described by Jean Hunt she is um, she's referred to as a pain in the arse um, and he, he puts her in the the lost and found in order to interview her now there's there's, there's a layer really there in terms of the semiotics of that, so we think a bit of Bartes there as well. Um, there's a close-up shot of um, the sign on the door where it says lost and found. Um, it, it's a place where objects are put, objects that are, are, are not necessarily wanted by other people, that they've been discarded and therefore found by somebody else and, and not been claimed. Um, so I think it's quite important that Jean Hunt quite, quite openly decides to, to interview Dora there. Um, there is a lot of, of kind of objectification from the other officers as well. Um, there is the reference to the, the first victim um, by the, the detective constable Chris. Um, he refers to um, he refers to the, the woman being on the car park and, and the phrase he uses is downhill skiing. Um, and the non-verbal codes he uses there are, um, are quite explicit in terms of suggesting that she's, she's masturbating two men at the same time. So the, the discourse there is absolutely used to represent women as, as being nothing more than sexual objects, um, which of course is one of the elements that Van Zunen talked about, the, the responsibility that um, the discourse or that the kind of conversation interaction um, that that has in either securing patriarchy, which is what we see, um, or challenging it. Um, and I think it's really important for us to remember that life on Mars is quite often analysed from a postmodern perspective. So we quite often um, nowadays would, would be quite critical of anything um, that, that treated women in this way. However, what we are essentially watching is a, a 21st century text um, that has been placed in the 1970s and therefore um, almost holds up its value system for us as a modern audience to, to interrogate and to challenge. Um, the fact that we are positioned with um, Sam Tyler, this, this modern detective, um, you know, within that restricted narrative really sort of secures the fact that, that we are not supposed to um, accept the belief system, this patriarchal belief system where women are objectified. Um, you know, we, we, we are positioned to be pulling the same faces as Sam and, and feeling as absolutely bemused as Sam is um, by, by the objectification of the women in the text. I'm going to stop it now.